that we honor the plants and wish them good morning too because they're our performers. Oh and they can be very, even, um, they may not want to sing, but the more love we start sending to them now and the more just good energy we have a chance of hearing them. You know, just imagine a child, right? <laughs> so I'm going to use some notes so I don't miss. I want to share some facts with you, uh, scientific facts, uh, so you can understand plant intelligence today and how they're able to sing. And then we'll hopefully do a demonstration where they're, I think they're dying to sing, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> so show of hands, how many of you knew that plants could sing? A couple of you. This is going to be a great day. <laughs> And then show of hands, how many of you knew that plants are sentient beings? Good. A sentient being, let me answer that for you. Great question, I love that. <laughs> Is that the plants can feel, they can perceive, and they can have empathy. So they can feel our feelings, they can perceive what's going on around them, and they can have empathy. So that's a great question, thanks for asking that. Um, one way they're able to show their feelings is how they're able to consciously choose the notes when they choose to sing. If they want to do a high note or a low note or a scale, they have that choice to sing. Um, I'm going to share a little bit about Cleve Baxter. He was a CIA agent, which was in charge of the polygraph, so the lie detector. Lie detectors are all about detecting stress. So Cleve said, I want to see if plants can feel stress. So he hooked up the polygraphs to the plants, and he started to burn them. And the plants started doing this. Not just the plant that was being burned, but the other plants in the room were also starting to react when one plant would get burned. From that, he started doing more experiments. So all the plants were hooked up with polygraphs around his room. And he'd come home from work and he'd say, you know, I'm going to start burning plants and see the reaction. And they'd all start going crazy. Because through ESP, through that energy, they were able to pick up that he was about to harm one of them. He took his experiments a little bit farther. He put um, brine shrimp in a boiling pot, and he, um, in the kitchen, the plants were in the other room. As soon as the shrimp, the live brine shrimp, was dropped into the water, the polygraphs in the other room started going crazy. If he put a dead shrimp in the water, there was no response. But they knew a live being was about to be harmed. And it shows the empathy, and it was as though they were just, um, it was like that freak out moment for them. Where they, um, the, the quote in the book was, it was as though they fainted from the pain that another being was going to endure. So, um, it's their electrical impulse peaked as if it fainted from, uh, from shock. So, um, in sharing the empathy piece, my sister, we were at dinner last night, and she said, you've got to tell them this story tomorrow. So she had a plant that was, um, wasn't doing very well, or was a friend's plant. She said, let me take your plant home. And she said, I'm not going to water this plant. I'm just going to love it. So my sister said every single day she just pet the plant and she said, I love you, you're going to be okay. And she did this morning and night for two weeks, never watered it, and the plant just came back to complete life. So keep sending that love, because we want them to sing. <laughs> so we love you. Um, now, plants do not have a nervous system like you and I do, but they have electrical, or, uh, electrical currents that flow through them. There was a study done with green beans, and they hooked up electrodes to the green bean to show the current. You know, it's, it's got its vibration. They chopped the green bean in half, and there's an electrode on each half, and the two ends were still talking. And so they're like, oh gosh, now what do we do? So someone said, I just want to pray over this and say thank you for being my food, because it's a green bean, it's about to get eaten. And so they prayed over it, and then the green bean settles down. It's like, okay, I'm here to nourish you, thank you for the blessing, and it accepts its fate. So you can see how plants are always talking. And there's this underground network where they're able to talk as well. Plants, um, because they can't get up and run, you know, from danger, they have to have a bigger perception field. And they can perceive if someone walks in a room that harms plants, the scales will go off. And a gardener walks into a room, if there's polygraphs, every plant's going like this because they know that they harm plants and trees. You know they're doing their job, I know, <laughs> but this is about consciousness. Um, so Brian shared about Dom and her, this community who came up with this, um, this device right here. And um, so they created their music. It's a low voltage electrical current between the roots and the leaves that translates to music through the synthesizer. So it's just a mini output. We can change the instrument sound for it. And um, I like it on piano when it sings because it's nice and soft. 
Um, the communication involves, this is the important part, everybody, emotional connection between humans and plants. So that's why I keep saying, send it love, send it love, so we'll sing. So when I first got this machine um, after sound healing school, um, I was giving a talk in front of, it was a metaphysical group, and we were doing healing tones all day. And I was like, and if you guys send the plant love, and it was all hooked up, the plant's like, and it started going crazy. And um, what we noticed is anytime you send the plant love, they choose higher notes. And I feel like that's part of our joy vibration, because you don't go, yeah, I'm excited. You're like, yeah, I'm excited, and your voice goes up. And I think when you're sending them love, they choose the higher notes because it's an exciting thing. And um, I also wanted to see, I had all the plants in the house, so I opened the door and I put them in the sunlight. As soon as I did that, the tone started getting deeper, as though it was grounding with the earth energy. And so each time I bring them into the light, they tend to do lower notes, and each time I send them love and joy, they tend to do higher notes. Now the first time a plant hears itself, it starts to do scales. If it wants to sing, it'll do a scale. So it might, you know, it's like a child hearing its voice, you hear So they start doing all these different notes. And um, my friend in the audience over there, Gay, just went out and bought two plants that have never sung before, these two. So we'll see if they choose to sing, um, if they're gonna do the scales as they start to hear themselves. Um, and then the last thing, plants determine the sequence of notes by modulating intentionally. So again, it's based on, we can start to train them. So the more I work with the plants, and I have some um, voice memos where I'm singing with them, and I might go, ah, ah, and you'll hear the plant go, mm, mm, and then it might go, mm, 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 so then I'll go to the next note with it. You have to have um, a rapport with the plant. Um, this morning, this one was singing nonstop and gay over there. <laughs> Was she said, um, she was like, uh, she made two tones. It was like a doo-doo, whatever the tone was she was doing. And I heard the plant go doo-doo, same notes. And I'm like, the plant's singing with you. <laughs> and so um, we can actually train them. They, we can train them with our voices. And we can train them with instruments to play with us. Um, first time plants, not, it's not as easy. But if a plant is trained and you have it sing for a non-trained plant, they will sing um, often a lot faster. The last thing I did is I took two tomato plants. One was a GMO and one was a non-GMO. My theory was um, a plant that has been genetically modified will not know its song. It doesn't have an identity because it's now a new identity. It doesn't know what to do. So I did a blind study. I bought two plants. I didn't know what they were. Hooked up the electrodes. And the first plant, after I think we did 12 or 15 minutes, there wasn't a sound. So then we put the electrodes on the next plant and immediately it started singing. So we had it play a song, this is on YouTube somewhere too, if you're interested. <laughs> and then we um, put it back on the first plant, and the first plant started singing immediately, because it knew how to sing. It was trained by the other plant to know how to sing, and now it had its own song. And it turned out the first plant was genetically modified, shocker. <laughs> and the second plant was not. <laughs> it's quite so, um, that's it for these. What we're going to do now is have some fun. I'm in pants and shoes so I can crawl on the ground and play with the plants and let's send it some good energy. We're going to start with this one. Um, originally I named this one 20 because it had two stalks um, and it looked like twins and I'm a twin so it became 20. Um, and 20 has sung before and was singing this morning so let's send the energy. Um, what we have to do, so there's a grounding. I have a nail in the, the, the roots and that grounds the energy. And then I have an electric here. You have to put a little of your good old fashioned sweat and spit on here to conduct the electricity. So we'll do this, which is nice because you're mixing your DNA with the plant too. And then we're gonna put this in here. This right here in the front. And so what's going to happen now if the plant chooses to sing for us? Um, oops, I gotta this. When this gets to the green, so the, the, there's an electrical impulse coming from the leaf, and it's grounding. So it's coming from here. When it comes together, it should hit the green mark, so it, it has to calibrate itself. When it hits that, it usually spits out a note. And whenever I threaten to say, you're not gonna, I'm not going to let you sing anymore, they often sing. So. <laughs> um, the speaker looks like it's on. Let's just check all. Send it some energy. See if you can get it to sing. I can't see the lights. It's green. It's green right now. Mm -hmm. So the speaker, the speaker looks like it's
focus on, there we go, plug that in more. Let's pick it. Let's see. Send it some energy, guys. Mm -hmm. Bugs Bunny, and um, there's a man in a top coat, and he sees a frog on the bench, and the frog's like, hello, my baby, hello, my darling, and the guy's like, oh my god, I'm going to make a gold mine out of this, so he sells out tickets to a huge theater, and he has the frog, and the frog will not shut up, and he's like shoving in the box, shut up, and then as soon as he, they open the curtains, the frog goes, ribbit, <laughs> and then everybody throws tomatoes at the guy, and all this stuff, and as soon as the curtains close, he's like, hello, my baby, hello, my darling. <laughs> So, I'm telling you that because plants often are that frog, they don't want to do it on command. So we're doing it, uh, I brought a couple others to try, and then if one decides to sing, they might all want to sing. So we just go one at a time if you guys are up for that. Sure. Alright, so I'm going to come over here, we'll give this one a little break, and see if, um, we'll try this little rose plant here. So I've got a weed in there already. We'll put the leaf here, and then we're going to take this one out. Of course, it's, I told you, as soon as I take it out, they want to make a note. That was a note. That was a note, yes. From the plant. From the plant. <laughs> and it's using a piano sound. This machine has a MIDI instrument, so there's like piano and violin and harp. Some of them sound really cheesy. So the piano just has a nice soft sound. So um, we're going to see if we can get her to, to sing. We'll ground this. This morning, this one was just non-stop. <laughs> oh, there's a note. Did you hear that? And I, um, what I was doing earlier today, or yesterday, is I brought some tuning forks, which I've never done. We use these in sound healing a lot, but it's obviously vibration. And so I was hitting the tuning fork to give a vibration for the plant just to say, remember what sound, what sound sounds like. So we'll give a little energy and see if that helps. <laughs> Sometimes they just don't stop singing. Now this plant has never sung because we just picked it up from the shop this morning. See how it's red? There's two red dots. We need that to come to the middle for the electrical impulse. That means the current's connecting from the two leads. Who wants to sing for us? They would not stop this morning. <laughs> and uh, who here is, has some really beautiful energy? Who, I mean, you all do. Who wants to come up and <laughs> just sit here and, and just share some energy with the plan? Anyone that wants to come up can sit up, just sit up here and just send some energy. And, uh,
those notes. So there's some high notes, which means it's in a joyful state. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a joyful state too, can you feel it? <laughs> you just never know when they'll perform. Like this morning, Kate, she was listening all morning. I have a voice memo of 20 singing before, so maybe if we remind the plants what they sound like. So, so sing. I don't know how much you guys can hear from here, but let's let's try it. So just So this is set to a violin. This machine has um, one note scale and three note scale. So when they actually do sing, you can choose one note or three notes, which you hear a fuller sound on that one. And um, it's got a 12 note scale as well, and you can um, modify it. And one of them sounds like very um, not earthly. It just has a different sound to it. Um, I'll try the electrodes on the other two plants. We'll just see if, if any of them want to well, sing. It's green in the middle. Now. Is it? It's fried. Yeah. So, it's green in the middle. So that usually means it wants, like hearing itself wants to see. Um, I'll just keep playing and see if it helps anything. I'll just check the leads to make sure the volume's good. The light's green here, which is good. Still green there? Yes. Let's just unplug the plug in. So weird. Is that music coming from your That's coming from my um, phone at the moment. I'm just trying to retrain the plates. Usually they seek something for us. So it's like it wants to sing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Can you find a machine like that online, or do you have this? Is there a special? I ordered place? from Italy, from okay. Dunninger, and uh -huh. there's a, a distributor in the U.S. And it was hard to get it from her for a while, and then I emailed Dom and her, and she emailed me back and says, I'm your distributor, don't, don't do that. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the machines are really expensive right now. Um, my purpose, I, I saw a, a psychic, um, I had a psychic reading, and at the end, the psychic said to me, the plant kingdom is very upset with you, and I was like, God, why? You know? <laughs> And they said, um, you promised in this lifetime to get their song out there and to give their message to the world, and you haven't done it yet. So part of this talk is you guys allowing me to fulfill my purpose, even though the plants are saying, oh, we may or may not speak. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can do about that, but um, we're going to try this one and see if it wants to sing for you. And if not, then Brian, I'll let you finish up. And then, yeah. should we make it clear to the plants that it would bring us great joy? Yeah, tell it. Yeah, it would just bring us such great It absolutely would. For us to hear your beauty and uplift all of us here. And it is a little green left top. Was someone this morning hit the This one? Yeah. Uh, I'll start with this one and we'll, we'll try these last two and see. Um, here's the lead. Oops. We'll try this new one. Have you ever connected to like an old growth tree or something? Yeah, I did a redwood tree in Santa Cruz. There was a, a drive-in place you could plug in, and um, my toning group, we all did tones, and it just started singing, and everyone was crying. And <laughs> oh, wow. It was a really special moment. So let's see if this one wants to. Um, again, I can't control no. how someone feels. First time ever singing, that's a scale. Wow. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> send the joy, send the joy. This is great. So that's this plant right here. Do you want to see more for us? So it's like they hear their voice and they're like, <laughs> and then, um, like, I usually have this plugged in at home. I haven't for the last year. I don't know why I took the break from it, and all my the plants would just sing all day long. And around 9 o'clock, they'd shut off. It was like bedtime, and I'd wake up, you know, in the morning, and I'd be leaving the house around 7.30 or 8, and once the sun came up, they'd start singing again. So they, too, respond to the, the sun. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes if you just ignore the plant, you're like, <laughs> Thank you. 
plan singing? Does anyone have questions for me? It's Chicago, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. <laughs>
I'm not sure what the purpose of that was, why I'm not able to get the machines, because I've asked and asked and asked, and it's been blocked from me for some reason. So I feel like I need to make this technology and offer it, instead of $1,000, it's like $200, you know, where everybody can have access to it. And I think that might be part of that psychic reading of uh, the plant kingdom, like, hurry up, get our song out there. <laughs> so if any scientists out there, this is just a little mini machine, electrical currents, we just need to be able to translate to sales, we could do this together. <laughs> information about the Metaphysical Church of Enlightenment or the Rodin Foundation, please go to our website at www.rodin.org. If you have been inspired by the revelations shared in these podcasts, please donate to the Rodin Foundation's ongoing efforts to help others help themselves at www.rodin.org.